I'm gonna divide this recipe into the two pots. So in this pot, I just added the carrot, celery, and onion, and you can see, and a little butter, getting all, scraping all that goodness on the bottom pan. Over here, I'm still browning my meat. You wanna get a nice hard sear on it, and then we're gonna do the same thing over here. Carrot, celery, onion, to glaze the pan with a little bit of wine. I added the veggies to that pot, but we're just gonna focus on one so I ain't gonna burn anything or hurt myself because it's just too much to do it in one hand. I have flour that I already portioned out. Um, also, these veggies were sweating a little bit of butter, and we're gonna get this going and build a root so we can make a delicious sauce for our stew. Now that it, the flour is all tossed together, we're gonna get the red wine and to glaze the pan. Fortunately, I can't do this with one hand and two pots. So we'll be right back. I know it does not look that pretty, but we added the stock, we added red wine, and all the meat. Now we're lowering the heat, and we're gonna let this simmer for over an hour. I'm gonna season it up with some salt and pepper, but all the meat, it's natural. Alrighty, steaming and simmering. We added the mushrooms. Only thing left to go is the pearl onions, which those go in later. Um, I did season it up, and we're gonna let it simmer for at least another 35 minutes, maybe longer. Oh, it's steamy. You wish, like I say every time, you wish you could smell this. Um, it's done. All right. It is beautiful, velvety, and rich. Pearl onions, button mushrooms, carrots. You cannot get any savior. Savior. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe I should start drinking in the afternoon. Beautiful. Finito.